and Sharia and I am back with another video. This video will be a review slash reveal slash first impressions of this wig I'm wearing here. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. This review is going to be on this wig by Sensational called Taraji. And here is the unit here. This is how it comes. I have it in the color FB130 and it says that it is heat resistant or heat safe up to 350 degrees so anyway this is a first impression just opening unit I just opened the unit the unit did come with lace from ear to ear so I cut the lace off um, the unit also came with the standard construction cap two combs on the side a comb in the back and adjustable straps I did move the adjustable strap just one notch on one side um, but other than that it fits pretty snug so this is it here my first impression is wow just like I thought I saw a few people review it on YouTube and Facebook and I knew I had to get it so um, FB 130 is my go-to color this is the color that I always get or either this or number two when I order my unit so first of all I'm loving like this here boom boom feathers it's pretty dope it's soft it's like a yakky mixed with silky texture, but it's not too slippery silky. And that's what I like about it. I love that it feels human and it feels yakky. I did see a few people with the wig in the middle. I tried it in the middle, didn't like it for me. So I put it on the side, which is awesome. So this is how long it is. I have on a black shirt, but you can pretty much see. And I'll show you the back. So yeah, this is it. This is Taraji. Um, I know I do want to order another unit. I want to order it in black and deep purple. I don't really try colors too much outside of Honey Blonde, so that would be something different for me. But the summertime is coming, and I want to put a little funk in my funk. So I'll definitely be trying that. Here's the parting. And I actually put concealer and foundation in the part. I'm still kind of testing a different color out. So I may go back in with the powder that I normally use on my parts. But that's pretty much it for the parting area. Um, the only con so far that I have about this unit is the hump. You can't see it now, but it was kind of bulky in this part. And my hair is braided down flat in the back. So I'm not quite sure where the hump came from. But all I did was spray some wig spray. You can use wig spray or water. Spray on the hair, kind of go like this. And then I tied a scarf around my head as tight as I can stand it. Washed the dishes, came back and took it off. So it's much flatter now than it was before. But I'm really feeling this. If this was a human, boo-boo honey chow. Like, I like it. I think it's cool for everyday wear or if you're going out or whatever it looks really realistic it is a bit shiny a bit shiny but you can go ahead and put some powder or bacon powder cornstarch rub it in your hands just a little bit and put it on the wig that will eliminate some of the shine on the unit but other than that so far i don't have any cons i may come back and do an updated review on it but as of right now it is golden. <laughs> if you are new to wearing wigs or you may need some tips, make sure you guys go check out my other video where I give you five tips on how to care for and maintain your synthetic wigs because they can go rough pretty bad. So you definitely want to check out that video so you can learn some tips. And if you have any extra tips that I did not mention, please leave them below on this video or the other video in the comment section. So, um, that's pretty much it. This is my first impression of Taraji. I am loving her. I may keep her with this name too. I normally will name my units or a friend of mine or someone will name them for me, but I may keep this one as Taraji. I like it. Or I could call her Cookie. 
hashtag empire <laughs> i thought about cutting some of the ends these ends right here but actually what i may do is take my flexi rods or some um, curlers and wrap it around and dip it in hot water to curl it that way i will not be applying heat to this unit as in the curling iron or a flat iron these units say that they can withstand heat up to 350 or higher but all that means is that the unit will not burn up to that temperature it doesn't always mean it will actually curl if you have ever applied heat to a synthetic wig you know that all the heat does is straighten out the curls it doesn't really curl it so I don't want anyone to get that confused when you see this on any unit that you buy that's synthetic it means that it can withstand heat up to 350 without burning or melting that's what that means I haven't tried to curl this and I probably won't because I just don't want to do it so yeah if you have any questions leave them below in the comment section make sure you guys follow me on snapchat and instagram at essence Cherie, and also follow my blog at essencecherie.com and i will see you guys on the next video peace <laughs>